Montreal. I love you and I loved you. This is my last goodbye. Well, this is it. This is my last goodbye. Uh, the sequel, yeah, part two. I was, uh, well, not here, down, because it's, I don't have time to go up. I'm down the hill. I have running up, well, running up that hill, yes. Two days ago, Tuesday. No, Wednesday. It's Friday now. Um, yeah, running up that hill with no problem. It's special here. Montreal is special. I have, I, I love Montreal and I loved it, but not as much now. That's why I want to explain it in that video. Montreal has changed too much. Uh, when I arrived in, in 95, everything was, po you know, anything was possible. It was like the American dream. Um, but now it's it's a nightmare. It turns into nightmare. It's the color gi uh, plan. Uh, it's not a, there's. I am uh, the only white and the uh, and the bus or in the subway. Uh, it's the Babel Tower. All I hear it's all the the language of the world except French. I, I hear some English, but yes, it, it's lost. Yeah, Montreal is lost. Montreal is lost and it's lost. It's sad to hear that because 26 years just of, you know, uh, of learning life, learning about... Uh, uh, it's it's, it's 26, 26 years of growing up inside. All the people I met, all the people I, I love, well, I came here to see them for the last time. I know it's the last time. I know I'll never come back. It's the end. I know it's the end. It's the end for, for Montreal. Uh, so, it, for me, that's why it was important to come. It was the last time. Uh, and all those people who have seen me, all the people I love, my mom, my mother, my friends, they all tell, told me I'm glad to have to, to have met you again, to have seen you again. So it's in my heart now. All right. So it's a it's a hard part for me. This video is not easy <laughs> to see that. Yes, Montreal is an hopeless case. It's gangster everywhere. It's bomb. A lot of black bomb waiting at the end of of subways to steal people. Um, you know, to, to do evil things. Uh, they fr all the people they are bringing here, the, the parasite of this world, the, the, the social engineer, they all bring, it's not the cream of the crop, it's the cream of the crap. It's all the uneducated and, and dumb, dumbed down. It's people who are so dumb and they, they, they just want, they don't want to work, they are lazy, they just want to steal people. When I was in the park, I was in the, in the Carré Saint-Louis, Saint-Louis Square, uh, on the plateau, because I was living in the plateau, the five last year of my life in Montreal. They are, they are envious, they are jealous, they want, they are, they have a lot of envy, they want, they, they, they want material, they are material, materials, you know. <laughs> they are materialistic. Is that the way to say it? Yes. People has to live material. If they can, there's no chance for them. So, so, so a black young man approached me and I didn't like the vibes. I was like, you know, distant and I, uh, and he was just asking me, 
how much for your microphone, how much for your camera, asking me a lot of questions. So I was not like, you know, warm and uh, because, no, I don't want to get still uh, on daylight in the street and nobody's doing nothing. I've heard a lot of very bad stuff, you know, people get, get aggressed, get attacked and nobody's doing nothing. People are killed on the street. It's like a, it's a third, it's a third world country, uh, not country, but it's a third world city. That was my impression when I arrived in the subway of Montreal the first time. I said, what happened? They, 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 they have, em you know, the social engineer have emptied uh, Africa and Haiti and, and uh, the Maghreb world, the Oriental world. They are all here. <laughs> I'm not racist. I'm just, I'm just telling reality like it is. It's a Babel tower, tower. They have mixed everybody with their culture, with their... Yeah, it, it smells bad in the, in the subway and, and the bus. Uh, <laughs> because they eat, they eat a lot of uh, fry, fry uh, food. So... And I'm not racist because I'm saying that. Uh, uh, I'm glad that I made that move and I'm living in a place where just people like me. I need to have, you know, I need to be with my, how do you say, my tribe. I know because humans are tribal. But, no, yes, Montreal, I know Montreal is over. It's over for Montreal. Uh, crime everywhere. My, like I said, my friend, has, um, a friend of mine that I went to visit two times, I've been, I've been, how do you say, attacked in the subway by black, a black young man. So, yeah, he was really scared. He has the, he has the, how do you say, the, la peur de sa vie, the scares of his life. <laughs> Uh, so that's why, that's why it brings hatred. Because me, I don't hate human beings. I don't, no matter who you are, where you're from. But I know the social engineer, the parasite of this world, that's their plan to destroy big cities. It's to bring all people from the third world and the cities. So the cities is, dest is destroying by itself. Like in the Babel ta uh, Tower. So we are in the Babel Tower, it's a clash of civilization. That's where we are now in Montreal. That's why I'll never come back because I didn't feel comfortable in, in certain area of the city. The vibes are really low and it's all ghettos now. It's all ghettos. Uh, so it's a criminal city. Uh, it's a lost city, a damn city. Uh, and. Like I said, yes, it's ghettos and me, I was a uh, more uh, bourgeois, the new bourgeoisie, the new bourgeois, <laughs> bourgeois. <laughs> I know English people, you love to say bourgeois. You love to say English words. So it's, I was in the bourgeois, uh, the bourgeois neighborhood. And Hansik, Hansik of, uh, it's, the, it's very north of Montreal. It's like a metro uh, subway. Uh, the subway of uh, Sauvé or Henri Bourassa. Um, it's, there's a Rachel Berry uh, food store, a natural food, st food and supplement store there. So I was in that area. It's, a, it's now, it's really now the cream of the crop was there of the people and, and white people. That's the way it is. So me, I don't want to live in ghetto. I want to live in this, I prefer to live in a you see, Montreal, I don't miss that, all the noise. So, I prefer to live in a city where people are all together, like in Rimouski. I love the ambience of Rimouski. I can't wait to be home tonight. Rimouski is my home. Montreal is not anymore. It's only for me, memories. It's a place only of memories. It's only in my heart here in my mind and my head that's what I, that's all I'm gonna keep so that's about it
I just hope, yes, that people are gonna give up all, yeah, their cell phone, they all, they all zombies and the metro and the subway. They all gonna join in because I know there's no hope. I know it's over. I know we are living in biblical time. Yes, it's the end of the times. It's it's Saddam and Gomorrah who is dying slowly, but it's dying. It's gonna die. So yes, my loved one, it was really the last time I took them in my arm. So I'm cherish that forever. Now I'm going back home. Thank you for listening and watching. See you next time. Henry Muskie.